Fingertips have a huge concentration of nerve endings, making them sensitive to anything from little pecks to a long shock. When you suck and lick her fingers, she gets an idea of your oral skills and pictures what it might be like when you lick and suck her more intimate areas. Sucking on her nipples releases the hormone oxytocin called the love hormone because it makes people feel more bonded. The nipples seem to have a hard line to the genitals and for some women, nipple stimulation will send an impulse right to her clitoris. Nipple stimulation plays an important role in the sexual satisfaction of about 80% of females. Using a topical formulation that simulates the nipples 30 minutes before sexual activity can improve orgasmic satisfaction, strength and pleasure. Her ears may be quite sensitive to light licking and sucking because of all the super sensitive nerve endings there. Most women are quite sensitive to auditory stimulation. So while you suck her ear, be sure to use the opportunity to whisper something about how attracted you are to her and what you would like to do to her after you finish nibbling her lips. You can also try pursuing your lips and blowing cool air to counteract the hard breathe from your whispers. The earlobe kiss is gentle, sensual kiss performed on the earlobe is often considered an erotic gesture. While it may appear simple, it sends a strong message of attraction and affection. Since the air is an erogenous zone for many people, this kiss can be an ideal form of foreplay. If the kiss is slowly, gently and with tenderness, the main goal is to make you feel comfortable and wanted. While kissing you gently, they want to tell you that you can feel secure and that they care about you. One may say that this kiss is passionate too and it is true, it is uniquely passionate.